Before I get started with the video, I just want to apologize to you guys that I have not uploaded a video in a week or so, and it really makes me mad that I haven't made a video in a week because I love making videos for you guys. I love trying to upload as much as possible, and uploading, just not having no uploads in like in a week is just a terrible, terrible thing for me, and I do apologize for not having any content here on the channel because college is, a, is just killing me, you guys. It's consuming my life. The college work that I have for this quarter is just maddening, and that I just been really stressed out from it and of course I'm gonna try and focus on that a lot more than I am YouTube because it's actually the most important thing right now at least to me anyway so I hope you guys understand that and I also apologize for the really crappy sound quality that the room I'm recording this video in because this room is just I don't know just everything you do in it just echoes and pretty much everybody can just hear me and I just I honestly hate it but anyway I want to talk about something you guys and the thing I'm gonna be talking about is Treyarch because they tweeted out a picture to about Black Ops 4's multiplayer and the perks that we're going to be seeing in it. So before I show you guys the actual perks, I'm going to actually be showing you where this actual source came from. So of course, like, like I said, it's a tweet, so it came from Twitter, but it actually all started with this Twitter thread that started on April 21st. So this guy named PJ, he read this article on PC Gamer, or some Q&A that they did, and they talked about if first-person shooter games should have single-player campaigns, and his comment on that was that COD doesn't need one, but I'd be damned if they make it like Overwatch because we've been getting a lot of leaks and rumors recently about Black Ops 4's multiplayer and how it's going to be similar to Overwatch. And trust me, he's not the only one that is upset about this. And then another person comes in named Lexi. She is a gamer girl. And she comes in and says, The more I learn, the worse it sounds. I am so afraid of what this game will become. PJ responds to her, I want COD to be good again so bad, but it's looking bad. Guess it'll be a PUBG Red Dead 2. Spider-Man and God of War type here and then Lexi this is kind of where the thread ends it does continue on but this is where the thread ends at least of what Treyarch wanted to end uh, so Lexi she says when I heard about a new Black Ops I was pumped now that I'm learning more I'm nervous I read that they are taking perks and score streaks away I don't know bad vibes and Treyarch themselves actually leaked this thread and then they make their own Twitter post saying don't worry we know some people which have has its perks, which is no pun intended, because along with the hashtag of Black Ops 4, they tweet out a picture of the perks that are going to be in the game's multiplayer, which is pretty freaking awesome. And you know, the game's reveal is only like 16 days away, 14 days, something like that. Absolutely crazy, you guys. I cannot believe how close we are getting to this app, just, just, just so close to this reveal, you guys. I mean, the game's coming out in October, for God's sake, so it's getting, it's getting really close, you guys. But anyway, yeah. Yes, here we go. We got the picture of the new perks that are going to be in Black Ops 4's multiplayer, which is really cool. So whatever leaks you saw saying that this multiplayer is not going to have any perks, well, they're wrong, you guys, because this just proves everything right here. Of course, at the top right, we do have some wild cards that are also chosen. They're really similar to the wild cards that we saw in Black Ops 3's multiplayer. So, and, but I can't really tell you exactly what these wild cards do. I can tell you one thing though. So as you can see, there's six perk slots that we can choose from. And so far we see four perks actually selected on this class loadout. Now I'm assuming that one of these wild cards are going to be like uh, one of those like perk one, um, like again, extra perk one, you know, which means that our extra perk one slot, I should say. So that means that if you have one of these wild cards, you can actually get two perk ones instead of just a single perk in the category, right? So, yes, as you can see, like, that just makes complete sense. I mean, that's like Treyarch's style with their creative classes. I mean, ever since Black Ops 2 with the pick 10 system, they have had this wild card system where initially you would always have, like, pick three perks, you know? But if you want to have a fourth perk, you can choose, like, this wild card and then acquire that fourth perk. So, that just makes complete sense. But what about these perks? Like, do we know what these perks actually are? So, let's look at the first one here. It shows a guy climbing a ladder and I can just tell immediately that this perk right here is dexterity and if you guys don't know what dexterity is back in black ops 2 there was a perk called dexterity and what it did 
is that you're able to actually climb obstacles and ladders a lot faster than usual and so I think that's just really self-explanatory I mean to me that's what I think it is and I'm quite confident that's what that first perk is the second perk we have here is a guy reloading his weapon now this is kind of interesting because normally when they make perks and they show like a weapon in that perk it's usually a weapon that is in the game so in all honesty you guys I can't tell what this gun looks like it definitely does not look like a World War II gun I can tell you that it might this might be an actual futuristic Call of Duty game. I mean, I can't really tell you for sure, but nonetheless, this is a perk of a guy reloading his weapon. Now, this can mean two things. This perk could either mean that we're going to be getting slide of hand back, which of course makes you reload faster, or it can be more of like a bandolier type perk, which bandolier was a perk back in COD 4 where you would actually start off with more ammo every time you spawned, which was I think was a very beneficial perk in my opinion. I love running it, so I think it could be that perk, um, and I think it makes more sense because it just shows a guy like with his ammo magazine in his hand I mean I don't know if he's actually reloading his gun I mean I'm assuming he is I mean his gun doesn't have a freaking ammo clip for God's sakes so it is possible that they have sleight of hand um, for this perk but I really do think it's bandolier and the reason why I think that is because in Black Ops 2 and in Black Ops 3 Treyarch didn't have any perks where you could actually reload faster instead they had an attachment for called fast mags and that was the way you could actually reload faster so I personally think this is a bandolier perk and not sleight of hand. And of course, this is a third perk here. I am like totally stirring my words here. That just sounded really weird for you guys. I do apologize. Uh, but yes, this is a picture of a hyena. I am pretty sure this is a hyena. And this is kind of interesting. I don't really know what this perk could do, honestly. Like when I think of a hyena, like you think of an animal, especially like a hyena, of like maybe a run fast, you know, maybe this is an extreme conditioning perk. But of course, that doesn't really make any sense because why well, would they have a hyena why wouldn't they just choose a picture of a cheetah you know and of course another thing if you look at the fourth perk I am pretty sure that the fourth perk is actually going to be extreme conditioning because I believe this is pretty similar to the same extreme conditioning that we saw in Black Ops 2's multiplayer I can't re recall exactly what the actual perk looks like in Black Ops 2 but I believe it was pretty much the same image so I believe this fourth perk here is going to be extreme conditioning but the cheetah one or not excuse me the cheetah but the hyena perk I don't know what this could do maybe it's gonna be tracker you know uh, maybe it's gonna be the tracker perk we saw in black ops 3's multiplayer I'm not too sure what this hyena could be but still you guys this is pretty awesome we're getting really close to the black ops 4 reveal so I'm really stoked to see what we're actually gonna get in this game because we already got a teaser from Treyarch and we know there's actually gonna be perks in this game we also know there's gonna be a pick 10 system in this game Treyarch did tweet that out a couple days ago as well and now we have this to go along with that pick 10 system of course the same perk system that was in the pick 10 system from their previous Call of Duty game so this is pretty cool you guys um we're getting closer to the Black Ops 4 reveal. We got some more legitimate information instead of just leaks and rumors, right? So this is really cool. You know, we know we're getting wild cards back. We know we're actually getting perks because there were rumors saying we weren't going to get perks. So I'm pretty excited, you guys. And I thought I'd share this video for you guys because this is pretty cool. I haven't uploaded a video in a while. And I thought I might as well talk about some more Black Ops 4 information that is going to be coming in the future. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating for whatever you guys feel this video deserves. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more Call of Duty videos later in the future. And I shall catch you guys later.